Hello, my friends. It's Miss Haley again. So today we are going to be working on a dress for summer. So today when we do our activity, you're going to need your sheet that has a girl on it and all her clothes. I also want you to grab the boy sheet that has him and all his clothes. You're gonna need also a glue stick, some scissors, and your little baggie of markers and crayons for me. Okay, so why don't we start with our Days of the Week song? So ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Good job, my friends. So if yesterday was Sunday, what's today? That's right. Today is Monday. It's a whole new beginning of the week. So if today's Monday, what do you guys think tomorrow is? That's right, tomorrow's Tuesday. Awesome job, my friends. So good. And since it is the month of November, I want us to work on our thankful and we know it song for Thanksgiving, okay? So let's start it, ready? If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, give a smile. If you're thankful and you know it, give a smile. If you're thankful and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, give a smile. If you're thankful and you know it, yell, I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, yell, I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, yell, I am. I am. Good job, friends. I love the clapping and I love seeing your big smiles. Those are my favorite. They make my day. Alrighty, friends. So, like I said in the beginning, let's grab those sheets. Let's pull out our boy sheet, okay? I want to do the boy with the clothes. Alrighty, and grab rather if you want markers or grab some crayons. Either one is fine. Alrighty. So what I want you to do is I have mine cu already cut out in color just to show you guys what to do. So I'm gonna talk about the girl, okay? So if you guys wanna do the girl too, that's fine. So I want you to color in all the different clothes right here for the girl. Any color you want, whatever you think, what color she should wear. If you think the hat should be blue, go ahead. If you think the goggles should be purple, go ahead. Whatever you think. So while you're coloring, I'm gonna show you what I did. I have my little boy right here. And my little boy, he comes with a pair of pants. I painted my pants blue. A pair of shorts. I painted my shorts green. And a pair of swim trunks. I did orange and pink with flowers. And a t-shirt. Did blue and orange, nice stripes. Gotta keep the sun out of her eyes with a baseball cap, which I painted, which I colored red. And then some of our friends wear glasses. So you know what? Got a pair of glasses. Look, they can be on my eyes too. <laughs> I painted them blue. Or colored them blue, I should say. And then got a little pair of shoes. I colored these green and blue. You guys, like I said, color whatever you want, whatever you think it should be. All right, so while you're coloring, I, after you're finished coloring, I should say, I want you to take it, take our scissors, have an adult help you, and I want you to cut out all these pieces for me. Cut them all out for me once they're all colored. I just wanna see them, I, you just cut out as well as you can. I just wanna see it all cut out for me. Once they're all cut out, you're gonna take your person. Like I said, I have my boy. You're gonna take, what? let's see, what do we think my person should wear, my boy should wear today? Hmm, it's pretty warm outside today. I think I'm gonna put some shorts on him. So what you're gonna do then, you're gonna take your glue stick. 
open it up. Some purple glue right there. I want you to take your glue and put it all on your piece. Whatever piece of clothing you want to do first, put it on there. I'm doing my shorts first. And then where do we think that my friend wears his shorts? Where do you think on his body it goes? Does it go on his head? No. Does it go on his feet? No. Does it go right here on his legs? That is right. So we're gonna stick them right there on him. So make sure you pat them down good so that then they stick nice and good with the glue. All right. So next, we're gonna put a t-shirt on my friend. So I want you to do the same thing. Take a glue stick, glue it all nice and good. Get all over there. Go. Now, where should this one go? Should it go up here? No. Should it go on his arm? Might go on his arm, but no. Should it go on his legs? No. That's right, it should go on his body. Good job, my friends. And like I said, pat that down. Oop, you see, they patted too hard. Look, he's got a shirt and pants on already. Look, he's getting all dressed up for the day. <clears throat> so next, my friends, it's a little sunny outside. So I think he's gonna need his hat. Let's get some glue on that hat. There we go. All right. And where do we wear our hats, my friends? Do we wear hats if it's sunny? Do we need to wear them on our feet? No. Keep the sun out of our eyes. We got to put them on our head. That is correct, my friends. Oh, Miss Haley's got to try and get that right. There we go. Got it right on his head. And he says that he's having trouble seeing today. So he needs his glasses. So let's glue those glasses on. Really get all the glue on there. <clears throat> and remember, like we said, glasses go on the eyes. That is right. Look how cool our friend is looking. He looks so cool. Oh no, but he's missing something. What's he missing? That's right, he's missing his shoes. Let's put his shoes on. Grab my pair of shoes I did. Put some glue on them. And let's put them on his feet. That's right, my friends. Look, our friend is all ready for the day. What should we name our friend? Hmm. Should we name him Johnny? All righty, here's Mr. Johnny. He is here, he is dressed, he is ready to go outside and play. He's got his hat because it's super sunny outside. <clears throat> He's got his glasses because he needs to be able to see. And he's got his t-shirt. It's a little warm outside, so long sleeves might make him sweat. He's got his shorts because again, pants might make him a little hot. So shorts keep some air on his legs so he can stay nice and cool. And then he's got his shoes so he can go run around super fun on the sun. Good job, my friends. I love how good this turned out. You guys did an awesome job telling me where to go with everything. Johnny looks awesome and ready to go today. So my friends, we're gonna read a book next. Let's see. I found this cool book. I really like it. Miss Amber brought it in for me. It's called The Eyes Game. Ooh, wonder what it's about. Huh, let's see. Miss Haley can stick her eye right in there. Look, ah, I look just like the eyes. Let's see what the first part says. Oh, it says, hello, I'm Robert. What's your name? Look, my eyes are in there. Say hello, Robert. Let's see what this one say. This one says, hey, do you want to play with me? I see you guys. Look at me. I see you through here. She's waving. Oh, this one says, do you like cats? 
Look, the nose is in the shape of a heart. Look how happy he's waving. He says, hi, everybody. Let's see. Ooh. He says, knock, knock, knock. You're there. I was looking for you. I'm a robot, guys. Look how cool I am. I got some antennas. Look at my robot teeth over here. I'm a little robot. And look, my robot is in the shape of a square, my friends. Oh, what do this one's kind of scary. <gasps> yum, yum, I am hungry. Oh, it's a monster. But it's okay. It's just Miss Haley behind it. See? Just Miss Haley with her eyes. And let's see. It says, Yoo-hoo! Do you know where I'm from? Where do you think we're from? That's right there from outer space. Look, they're aliens. So cool. And then this one says, night, night. Look at all my eyes I have. I got one, two, three, four, five, six eyes. That's a lot of eyes. We usually have one, two eyes. But here, being a monster, I have six eyes. Wow, that's a lot. So, my friends, next, we are going to be reading another book. This is our last book for today. It is called Hands Are Not For Hitting. Remember, when we're in the classroom, we use, let's do, we use gentle hands. Be gentle, not hard, gentle hands. So let's see. Hands are not for hitting. Hands come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Hands can do lots of things. Can you wave yours? My friends, can you wave your hands? Let me see. Wave. Say hello. Hands are not for hitting. What are hands for? Say hello. So you can shake a hand or you can wave and say hello. Kind of like we do when we see people outside or when we see our teachers, we say hello. Hands are for drawing. We love drawing at school. We use lots of crayons and markers. Sometimes we even use some paint to draw with. We use chalk on the chalkboards. Let's see what else. All my pages are sticking together, oh no. Hands are for playing. Look at her dirty hands. I know when we go outside, a lot of my friends love to play in the mud. You guys always come in with such dirty hands from all the fun you're having outside. Oh, he's doing the itsy bitsy spider. See, look at his hand motions. Kind of like when we do it in the classroom. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Good job, friends. Let's see what's next. Ooh, we love doing this. Hands are for building. See, they're building sand castles at the beach. But in our classroom, we, use, we like to build with blocks. We build super tall towers. And sometimes my friends think it's so much fun, knock them all down. Sometimes that's just fun. You build super high and then push, it goes down to the ground. See what else? Hands are not for hitting. What are hands for? Eating and drinking. That's right. We use our hands to eat our food and to drink our water or our milk. Hands are for dressing and undressing. You know, when we get up in the morning, we dress and put our school clothes on. And when we go home, we usually take our clothes off and put our pajamas on. Let's see what's next. They are for keeping us safe. Remember when we go outside sometimes, we have to hold hands if we're walking and we're not in our play yard. Or my friends that are using the potty now, we will hold the teacher's hand when we go to the potty. It keeps us safe so that we don't get run, run away from anybody and we always know where you are. Hands are for taking care. What is my friend doing? That's right, she is brushing her teeth. And what's my other friend doing? We do so much of this lately. She's washing her hands, that's right. We love to sing our ABCs when we wash our hands. 
Hands are not for hitting. What are hands for? Helping. You guys like to help Miss Haley and Miss Amber in the classroom. You're always helping us put toys away or clean up. And we love it when you guys use your hands for hugging. We love the hugs you give us. They're so awesome. Hands are for waving goodbye. See, at the end of the day, you wave goodbye to Miss Haley and Miss Amber. And that's the end, my friends. You guys did awesome today. I'm so happy. So I'm excited. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow, okay? I want you to work on all of that. I want you to see all the coloring you did. I want to see how nicely you're using your hands. And I want to see your people. So your mommies and daddies and grandmas, grandpas, uncles, aunts, friends can all send me pictures. I just want to see how you guys did for me, okay? You guys have a good day.